talking a lot about this year is density. Density. Uh, I like to use this example for density because it makes sense to me and it's straightforward. So on the left, you see a bowling ball, right? Uh, pretty heavy when we think of a bowling ball, pretty weighty, pretty massive. Um, and on the right, you have a soccer ball. Notice they're about the same size. I know a soccer ball may be a little bit bigger than a bowling ball, but we would say that they're about the same size or we'd even use the same word volume. So what's the difference between the two? Well, we know that a bowling ball is much more massive, we would say. It has more mass than the soccer ball. It's about the same size, but it has more mass than the soccer ball. Thus, we could say that a bowling ball has a larger or a greater density than the soccer ball. It's about the same size, but the mass makes it have a greater density. Okay, so when looking at density, there's a formula and it's really easy. It's one you should memorize, uh, you should know from time on in this class, and I'll try to make it as pretty as possible. Density equals mass divided by volume. It's as simple as that. Doesn't look very pretty, but it's as simple as that. So uh, we can take the density of a liquid. We can take the density of a solid. So real quick, let's talk about the units of that. If I'm talking about density, we can make a little chart here. Let's say density of a solid. Density of a solid the unit is going to be grams per centimeter cubed. We gotta have the units on there, grams per centimeter cubed. And then we'll go over to this other side and let's do a liquid. What is the density of a liquid gonna be? What are those units? Well, it is grams per milliliter, right? Pretty simple. So grams per centimeter cubed is a solid, grams per milliliter is a liquid. Uh, and we can look also at what the units for a uh, for mass is. So mass is easy. It's always going to be, whether a liquid or a solid, it's going to be grams. Kilograms sometimes, but 99 times out of 100 we're going to use grams. And finally, let's talk about our third variable volume, volume solid is going to be centimeters cubed. So we can take length times width times height, find the volume, or in a graduated cylinder, right, we can measure the volume of a liquid and that's milliliters. So it's important to uh, know, obviously, the density formula, density equals mass divided by volume, and know some of those units for density, mass, and volume. Okay, super. So let's move on and do some problems with this. First thing, in any of my problems, I'll do this a lot this year. Uh, we like to read the problem. What's the density of a fluid with a volume of 300 milliliters and a mass of 19 grams? The first thing I like to do is I like to circle what I'm trying to find. What is the density? of a fluid with a volume of 300 milliliters. Uh, the next thing I like to do is I like to underline what I'm given, 300 milliliters and a mass of 19 grams. Beautiful, also what I'm given. So now let's use our formula, density equals mass divided by volume, and let's see what we're given. We need to find density that's big D. We need to have the mass and we need to have the volume. Great, we have both of those things. So I'm going to come over here and let's do mass is 19 grams divided by 300 milliliters. Notice how I have units on all those numbers because that is very important. And I got to reach for my calculator here. Let's divide this. 19 divided by 300 is going to give us a density of 
zero, six. We got two significant figures is our least amount and we need a unit. So this is a fluid. So I know my volume, this is the volume of the liquid, it's going to be grams per milliliter. Another easy way, look what's on the numerator, grams, look what's on the denominator, milliliters. So we just put one over another, 0 0.06 grams per milliliter is going to be the density of this fluid. All right, moving on. Let's do another problem. The density of a toy spoon is 2.5 grams per milliliter and its volume is 2.3 milliliters. What's the mass? Okay, so what are we trying to find in here? We are trying to find the mass. I circle it. What am I given? 2.5 grams per milliliter. That's the density it says. And 2.3 milliliters, that is the volume. Okay, so we're now trying to find mass. Let's take our original equation, density equals mass divided by volume. But now we're solving for this guy. So algebraically, what do I need to do? I need to get him by himself, right? How do I do that? Well, uh, I need mass by itself. I need to get rid of volume. How do I do that? I'm gonna multiply by volume. What I do to one side of the equation, I do to the other and cancel, 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 cancel. What am I left with? I'm gonna rewrite mass equals volume times density. Super, what are we given? We're given density, we're given volume. Let's plug them in. So we'll do, if I can get this mouse, 2.3 milliliters times 2.5 grams per milliliter and let's multiply see what we got 2.3 times 2.5 we are given 5.75 that's going to be grams but uh, I see two significant figures there so we're going to round to that let's do 5.8 grams beautiful. Okay, last problem here. A screwdriver has the density of 10.5 grams per milliliter. It also has a mass of 2.6 grams. What's the volume? Let's go through our steps. That's what I'm trying to find. This is what I'm given, the density, and I'm given the mass of 2.6 grams. So our original equation is always D equals M divided by V. Okay, I'm trying to find volume now, right? Uh, so I can go about this a few ways. I need to get volume by itself. I need to do that algebraically. So how do I get M to cancel? I'm gonna divide. What I do to one side of the equation, I do to the other. Mass cancels. I'm left with something over volume equals d times n. So this one's a little bit strange algebraically, but d over m equals one over v. I don't need one over v, I need v. So I can take the reciprocal of both those. What I do to one side, I'm gonna do the other. I'm gonna flip this side, m over d equals v, or v over one. All right, so plug it in now. Mass is 2.6 grams. Volume is, excuse me, density is 10.5 grams per milliliter. Do the math. 2.6 divided by 10.5. And I see two significant figures, so I'm going to round to that. I got 0.25 volume. It's a solid. Uh, this is going to be grams per milliliter.